Something right. Show them what happens when you mess with the Midnight Suns. I will see it done. So it begins. Interesting tactic.
come. your weakness. Time to get serious. You definitely lead by example. Get bigger.
Bring as many as you like, it won't make a difference. I need it. Watch closely. This is no trifling matter. Let's give it a go.
Not bad. Not great, but not bad. more friends. You. I hope you realize that in time. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl.
Erethole! I, I mean, help. A successful collaboration. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Time to work. This is some of my best work. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. more coil, send it my way. We could go a few rounds. Pain, no gain. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Any new leads? Okay, what's Hydra up to now? Now we know what they're up to. The question is, what are we gonna do about it? This should keep someone busy. in a good mood. Stay out of trouble. Finally, some action. The Daily Bugle's headlines get me so mad.
J. Jonah Jameson just said, Spider-Man's existence fosters an atmosphere of toxic paranormal activity in New York. Backbiters exist to sully the character of others. The Daily Bugle printed that I conjured the Hellmouth in New York City. First off, I didn't even know Hellmouths were real until last week. Second, New York already had a Hellmouth in Staten Island. I'm pretty sure vampires live there. Entertaining rumors and schoolyard taunts only empowers bullies. Sticks and stones may break my bones, yeah, yeah. What do sticks and stones have to do with our conversation? I forgot you don't know all our modern idioms. Even Captain America knows that one. Does the idiom have a conclusion? Words can never harm me. Falsehoods galore. A prophecy is literally words trying to exterminate us. When we finish Lilith, I will teach J. Jonah Jameson exactly how much words hurt. Maybe we don't. I need the income and he pays. Thanks for distracting me, Hunter. It's clear I gotta hire a publicist. Or better yet, just hit unsubscribe from the Daily Bugle on my newsfeed. Wow, I feel better already. Now, back to stopping the prophecy that will doom all mankind. I wish we could just unsubscribe from Lilith. If only it were that simple. My dry spell was never going to Check out my amazing tracking ability. I once wandered the sewers under the Hellfire Club's New York building for hours. This will be a piece of cake. Really curious to see what the Red Skull's so interested in down there. I gotta say, if this whole chase turns out to be for buried gold, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. You ever hear the expression transias for lovers? No. Me neither. There's a reason for that. Step through portal. According to the map, the way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. We can bring you right up to the entrance. Beautiful. I can take it from there. I'll have you know I'm indulging your desire to follow this map. Don't say I never gave you anything. After this, I won't even expect a card from you on my birthday. How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last... Sniff. And I was right. If this is supposed to be an ambush, I've seen better. Ambush? This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences, which means... Project Gutermorder. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still, this Lillen feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out. We can debate the hows and whys later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. Your 
right about that thing. Smells like it died, then crawled through the That is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Easy for you to say. It's not breathing down your neck. Let us see if they have an answer for this. You were too weak for this fight. This shall be of great help. Your mother abandoned. Looking good for you. He's coming in. He didn't make it. We have our hands full as it is without having to worry about Red Skull, too. You ready? Nice work. Sidekick. I wasn't even trying that hard. Sealed up tight. So where are those things coming from? The way they move, these villain may have come from beyond our world. These walls are no obstacle to them. Just when I thought I had smelled it all. Roger that. I am impressed. Feel my call. Time to see if Red Skull really did hide his ultimate weapon here.
in the lock. Hang on. I think I might be able to decipher the sequence. Got your decoder ring right here. Great. Dollars to donuts, that alarm still leads somewhere. Let's not stick around to find out. The hell you waiting for, kid? something out or die trying. You sure know how to rally the troops, Logan. That one for you, dog. You're lucky that's as far as I'm taking it. This is still happening. This is a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Not so enjoyable when you are the prey, is it, Hunter? You've already been consumed. You know what happens when I get angry.
just keeps getting easier. Maybe it's time you quit this racket. You had your chance to join her. Mother Some doomsday prophecy or you guys. Almost makes me miss Magneto. Just follow my lead. Now that was impressive. Once again, will its servants fall. Tell you we had some kind of air support or evac on the way. That would be too easy. You'll leave when Mother says so, not before. I had hopes for a challenge. your chance to escape. be our only chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will.
Hunter, come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. Okay, cut the bull, Stark. I know you've got some kind of Hulkbuster up your sleeve. Let's have it. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have some Hulkbuster armor back in one of my warehouses, but it's only a stopgap, not a solution. Especially with the Hulk in his current state. So a smart guy like you never bothered to come up with a fail-safe in case the green chunk ever went psycho? We found the most effective way to control Hulk was Banner himself. There is no better fail-safe. And now that Banner's gone screwy, nothing, no plan for when things got really tough? There are always plans, Logan. Sending him off-world, perhaps? Outer space? That's really the best you could come up with? I don't see you coming up with anything better. I'm raising the warning now. When the time comes and we don't have an easy solution, I'm ready to take the hard path, and you'd better be prepared to follow me. You're getting good enough. I might let you call me Logan. I'm getting used to the Abbey. Didn't think I'd like it at first. Monks lived here isn't on my list of preferred amenities. What changed your mind? It reminds me of a Cree outpost. Mostly solitary, but you have your team around. Enough contact with civilization to avoid going loopy. What do you get when Captain Marvel goes stir-crazy? You tell me. Someone who is not enjoying herself? <laughs> no, I'm having a great time. I thought you were setting up a cheesy joke. Oh, no, I was really curious. When you have cabin fever, what does it look like? How about me 20 minutes ago? <laughs> nice. What about you? You died here, so I bet you have some complicated thoughts about this place. Yes, there are bad memories, but the good ones outweigh them all. You're lucky you have that. I'm making some new ones right now. <laughs> no one likes a suck-up, Hunter. But so am I. How do you keep finding the best gifts? It's been ages since I played Go Fish. Hunter? Awesome. Thanks, Hunter. Thank you for coming, Hunter. I need to talk to you about the artifact from the Red Skull's vault. The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. 
It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. And perhaps we should not study it anymore. Maybe we should find another vault beneath the earth and bury it there. Safe from everyone and everything. I admire your sense of protection for humanity. They have no idea how to react to the forces we are currently dealing with. Power like this will never allow itself to be tossed away. It will be found one way or another. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer, at least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. What's troubling you, Sarah? The hilt. What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcum. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strain should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. I know this is hard, Sarah. But life as we know it will become extinct if we do not take hers. I'm just sorry that the burden keeps falling to you. You must kill your own mother again. That must be incredibly difficult for you. It is just my destiny. A tragic destiny. A tragic for me, but a happily ever after scenario for everyone else. And that is all that matters. Ah. <sighs> I fear sometimes I raised you to be too self-sacrificing. You raised me to fight for the greater good. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. I will see if I can find you a treat list. Always on the hunt, right? I never expected the Red Skull would trouble me again. Yet here we are. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. Finding that artifact beneath Mount Wondegore destabilized me as well. Here's hoping Strange can figure out what exactly this God Killer is. If the Red Skull had it, then it's nothing good, I'm sure. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. 
I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. I think the world is safer because you are here protecting it, not because this Red Skull is gone. I'm just one man, Hunter. It's all of us together that keeps the world safe. That includes you, Tony, Caretaker. Even the ghosts around here do their part. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon, anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. Can you really kill an Elder God? If you did, wouldn't that make you some kind of god? I've squared off against Hulk a lot of times over the years. None of them were pretty. Dr. Banner used to be the upside to the Hulk. They're both a complicated guy. Uh, guys, whatever. Hulk messed me up a bunch of times, but... But a demon queen twisting Dr. Banner's genius, loosening his darkest impulses, and enabling him to perform torturous experiments. That's something none of us have seen. Except me. It's always the sciencey quiet ones that inflict the most damage. I'll drink to that. As we say in Transia, to our shared pain. Did I ever tell you about the time the Hulk tore me in half? This sounds like a story I cannot pass up. I was in the path of a Category 5 Hulk smash storm. Big Green pulled me apart like it was wing night at his favorite pub, and I was the chicken. Well, that sounds absolutely horrible. Then Hulk threw my legs, four miles away from the rest of me. What? 
up a snow-covered mountain. Had to claw my way to him. How did you survive? That lovely, forceful bisection put my healing factor to the test. Had to find my legs by their scent. My scent, if you catch my drift. As long as Lilith controls the Hulk, we are at a disadvantage. Yep, and we're sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. The Hulk's rampage must be stopped. My advice? Leave the Hulk busting to the better reinforced. Besides, I reckon the Midnight Suns need you for a different fight. Well, no matter what, we are sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. Anytime someone wants my opinion, it means we're really screwed. Remind me not to brainstorm with you anymore. Makes sense. I'm more of a claws out kind of guy. Anyway, glad you enjoyed our little Hulk survivors group. We'll meet again if we survive him next time. After seeing Banner's soul twisted under Lilith's control, I see why Bruce used to doubt himself so much. He mistrusts the green brute because deep inside, Banner doesn't trust himself. Another thing he and I have in common. There is still hope for Banner. Yes, there is always hope. But do you think it's possible I'll ever see Bruce Banner in the same way ever again? You know that was not Banner, right? Same as it was not you, Wanda Maximoff, who devastated the Sanctum Sanctorum. Point taken, Hunter. I owe Bruce the same kindness I've been shown here at the Abbey. I do believe I can forgive him. Forgetting, however. You are not alone, Wanda. When the time comes, we will face your demons. Our demons. Together. Thank you, Hunter. That gives me some strength. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. It's not much. But I have managed to locate a few details. What have you got for me, boss? I have high expectations. I feel like I can automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Practice makes perfect. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Oh, you shouldn't have. Can't wait to try this out. My lucky day, huh? Let's do it. Ready to work? Privet, Hunter. Awesome. Thanks, Hunter.
I am envious of your ability to wield a sword. What can I say? It comes easily. Hunter? That was for free. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. <laughs> 